Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Chris here, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick warm up you can do for either upper body or lower body. Really easy to do, it takes five to ten minutes, or however long you want. You just change out how long you do each exercise for. So, thought I'd take you through it today. I've just finished a leg session, so yeah, I'm a bit sweaty and look a bit shit to be honest. But um, yeah, enjoy the video. I was actually going to shoot a workout video as well to show you guys what's going on there, but Maybe in the future, I just wanted to focus on the stretching video today. So, yeah, I'm going to put that together for you guys now, and hopefully you enjoy. If you want this thing again, this kind of thing again, make sure you give it a thumbs up. God, my shoulder is hurting just holding this phone. Um, yeah, do that. Comment below what you want and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the video. Cheers. Hey, guys, what's going on? It is me, Chris, here. Um, so, first things first, I like to do um, some basic... Got hangs from a bar so it's basically like a pull up position from the bottom and all you're doing is letting your lumbar spine completely relax now I'll do this for three rounds of 30 second holds but I may even go up to one minute holds or rounds um, for up to 10 rounds depending on how much um, I need to do on my lower back and back overall just to kind of let everything relax before I go into my workout next thing I'll do is I'll work on my upper body mobility. So I use a resistance band and this just helps warm up those muscle fibers and help with mobility before I do my workout. Otherwise you might feel a little bit like you need to stretch in certain areas within your workout and you wanna get all that done beforehand. Now, next thing I'll do is I will get into like a squat position and I'll kind of like try and open my hips up. Um, I'll move around, I'll go left and right once I've been into the um, deep squat position squat position for uh, a minute or so really you are going to feel it in this warm-up um, exercise this is really going to help with either your squat bench deadlift whatever it is because at the end of the day all the power comes from the floor goes through your hips and you need to make sure they're warm before you do start working out so as you can see here I'm just going to the left to the right warming up the hips and that's going to help with basically everything and it's also going to prevent injury as well so definitely one I recommend adding in there Now the next thing I'll do is I will like try and reach down to my toes uh, to activate my hamstrings and lower back. Now I'll do this um, until I feel my lower back or hamstrings start to fire or start working. Um, now it's a really great movement for just kind of like once again warming up um, where the power is going to be transferring through and you want to make sure you've got warm hamstrings particularly if you're going to be doing squats or something like that. Next thing I'll do is I'll uh, do a pre-activation movement. So I'm squatting today, so I'm going to go ahead and do some bodyweight squats of anywhere from 15 to 20 reps, something like that. Really just focusing on getting that power through. Uh, looking back now, I could have done a little bit of a better job with my feet. Uh, as you can see, they come up a little bit at the back. But because I've got no weight on there, I'm kind of just trying to get the blood flowing into the muscle. I'm not too fast on how the form is overall until I start using the bar. Um, had a quite a good squat session. I went up to about... Uh, 95 kilos for a single uh, so hopefully gonna get back to that two plates very quickly um, and hopefully get up to 110 kilos by December that is the goal so yeah thanks for watching guys um, any questions let me know in the comments below and yeah I hope this video helped someone if it helped someone then it was worth doing um, I thought it'd be quite useful just to put out there because it is definitely worthwhile doing your warm-ups because that can prevent injury and actually help you in your workout as well. So thanks for watching guys, cheers, and I'll see you later.